Hello, my name is Mike M0 MSN, and well, today I'm going to be looking at active loop antennas. Uh, and the reason for this is quite simple. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, Golf 8 CQX, John Howells, um, some time back actually uh, did a write up in the RSGB's uh, Radcom magazine for an active loop um, circuit. Um, it was actually in, in this edition. Um, and inside the uh, magazine, he wrote an incredibly nice um, write-up about active loops, which I thought might be a nice idea to have a go at. Um, however, because John lives quite close to me, I reached out to him and he offered a, uh, a pre-made um, circuit uh, for me to test out. So I thought, that's a jolly good idea. Let's have a go at that. Um, so... That's what I'm going to do today. Build the uh, the loop, uh, put it out, and then test it. See what it's like. To help with the project, I found a cut off of Andrew two point two LDF two fifty ohms, and there's about there's about two and a half, maybe three meters there, um, which will create a about a one meter diameter loop. All right, let's just see. I think these are gonna be the right size. Yes, perfect. So what I need to do then is remove the plastic part, spread the back of the, of the hoop and solder it to the, uh, to the coax. Okay, we've got our two um, loop connectors, which I have um, flattened out or, or splayed out the uh, the wire connection end. Um, hopefully though, that will be roughly the same or just larger than the diameter of the Heliax we're going to be using. So I'll place the Heliax um, on this and then wrap it around a bit more and then I'll solder the ends. Um, right, let's go to the next stage. So here we go, a simple idea. We just solder some loop connectors onto the end of the, uh, of the coax. I wish I could turn that around and make it easier for you to see what I've done. Might be on the other side, perhaps. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, they're soldered on, and now those will connect directly, hopefully, into the top of our loop uh, amplifier. Of course, relatively straightforward and, and easy. It's a completely separate thing, of course. I lose the wash off of one of them. Yeah, that's not a problem. So here's John's uh, circuit. Um, like I said, you can find this in in Radcom. Um, I'll f I'll put the edition um, in the uh, on the screen now. Uh, so what I've done is I've connected. Um, basically two and a half meters, maybe three meters of um, Andrew 50 ohm, uh, nine millimeter um, Heliax, uh, just use the outside um, to the bottom, or in this case, it will be the top. So there you go. That's the, uh, the antenna side finished. We've got um, the loop attached to the top of the amplifier. And all we need to do now is make up the uh, the coax and the the feeder which uh, the feeder the coax yes okay i guess i better explain that this um, needs to be fed with uh, about 10 volts um, so uh, to enable us to do that we need to insert a, a bias t in the coax feeder to the box so that's the next bit really is to make up the bias t uh, to feed the amplifier with some power and it gets fed via the coax. 
and this is the very simple bias T circuit that we are talking about. Um, it's actually labelled uh, incorrectly. Um, the loop is actually fitted this side. You can see the size of it compared to my finger, right? And the receiver goes this side. Um, so what we'll do is um, we'll just solder um, the coax onto it. Um, and we'll put some power leads onto it as well. And we'll, uh, we'll take it from there. So this side is most definitely the transceiver side. Marvellous. Okay, so there we have it. We have our bias T and in our bias T, or should I say, we have our power connected to it as well. Um, and that side goes off to the radio, or in this particular case, it's an RSP1A. And the other side goes off to our active loop. Um, and this is fed with um, 10 volts from a 10 volt power supply in this particular case it's actually my 13.8 volt turned down so let's just quickly turn all that on and i'll show you what it's like so this is using the uh, the magnetic loop which seems to be working very well indeed actually um let me just spin the camera around and you'll see how precariously it's purchased on or in my room at the moment. So there's the loop literally just hooked over the corner of the of the curtain pole um, and then fed via this bias T um, and then down and around across the floor and over a load of coax um, and then into the can I get it? yeah there it is into the uh, RSP uh, there and that is literally what you're seeing on the screen I'm just cranking again it's much better when I had the camera up a little bit higher there you go anyway let me turn the power off take a bit of time to firm off and there you go that's the uh, electric gone out of the system so you can see that it was actually a powered antenna back on again right so that's um, 158 so they're f sorry s5 to 6 on the Kenwood and are we going to see that on the screen so there's s7 and strangely enough they're about the same on this one
Okay, so ever so quickly, sorry about the wind noise. Um, <laughs> this is a, a quite a good idea. Um, I've got my ground cable coming out here. Normally goes to the bottom of the DX Commander. I've actually put a 20 meter in at the moment, but um, a uh, fizzy drink bottle cut at the bottom, as you can see, cable thread through the middle of it. And we can just place that over the top and that waterproofs our joint for what we're doing today of coax going to our active loop which is in an apple tree um, and it's only what about a meter above the ground so there we are let's see how well it does in the power of Greenwich in the power of Greenwich uh, I see you uh, G6 ISK this is Gold 3 Romeo Charlie this is the Okie Dokie G3 RCV G6 ASK very good morning to you uh, I did, I missed the name, sorry, did you, was it Trevor or did I get that wrong? Oh, it's Trevor, mate. Hey, Papa, this stuff like easy, I should be on whiskey, thank you, 5954. Can I get it? 5954, number 5 and number 4 for your order. Thank you for the 5954, you are 5950. Again, again, a 450. Alpha Whiskey Zulu, India Sugar Zero, Alpha Whiskey Zulu, India Santiago Zero, Alpha So there you go, absolutely quite amazed at how good the uh, the um, active loop is. Um, the signal to noise ratio is incredibly good on it. Uh, and also its receive capability is uh, also incredibly good. The Kenwood is actually on an Enford half wave today, normally on the DX Commander, but at the moment it's on the Enford half wave because I, I took the, the DX Commander down uh, last weekend for the storms and I haven't put it back up yet, naughty me. Um, but the uh, it's on the Enford half wave, as I said, um, and the RSP 1A is on the active loop. Um, so, yeah, very comparable. Um, f fair enough, the um, the uh, Kenwood has got uh, 12 dB and 6 dB, depending on which band we were playing with, of um, attenuation put in. So the then fed half wave has obviously got a better signal, but the signal to noise on this um, active loop is brilliant. Uh, I'm very, very impressed with it. Um, very simple to build. Um, you can get all of the diagrams from uh, the Radcom magazine. Um, you can probably use someone like, uh, I'm just trying to think, PCB ways or um, escrow is it um, to print the PCBs um, and I think it costs about thirty pounds, maybe thirty-five pounds to build the circuit, um, and you can use just a wire loop. You don't have to use coax, uh, and you've got a brilliant indoor uh, or balcony antenna um, in the loft. Perhaps who knows, but. Superb for the money. I think it's a great piece of kit. Anyway, thanks very much for, for watching and keep tuned because I'm going to be using the, um, the active loop over the next few months to see what it's like and see if it's uh, good for the noise ratio as well. I've also got a few more, um, videos to do with antennas coming out shortly as well. And also the ATAS. How far has we got to it? And, um, how far has, how far has we got to it? I can't even speak. There we are. Thanks very much indeed for watching. M0 MSN. Bye-bye. Oh, humbug. Why did the keys work? <laughs> oh, why ain't it working? <laughs> I work in the wrong department. <laughs> oh, we ain't in company. <laughs>